from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Paper and packaging company Impact earlier this month hosted media for a tour inside its paper mill recycling facility in Springs, which also happens to be the biggest recycling plant in South Africa. Marlene Alnoldi tells us more. The recycling rate in South Africa has exceeded its 70% target, which was set for 2020 already in 2017. About 1.3 million tonnes was recycled out of a possible 1.8 million tonnes of plastic and paper. At a 600,000 tonnes a year production rate of recycled fibre, Impact MD John Hunt explains the sorting, baling and pulp making process at Impact Springs Paper Mill plant. It depends first of all where the materials in bale form as you can see behind us. Um, if it is, it gets offloaded off the truck and stored here until the mill requires it and then we transport it across the road to the mill. But we also receive a lot of material that comes in loose form. So it's literally loose paper. Um, it will be dumped next door in our recycling branch. That material is then sometimes requires to be sorted. You must pull out, for example, it's white paper and there's some cardboard boxes in. You need to pull those out. Uh, you need to pull out bottles and things like that from the paper, separate it out. It then goes through a baling machine. It's a big compacting machine. It makes a bale like this and then that's transported across the fence from here. Once it goes into the mill, and depending what type of paper it is and what product they're making, it's mixed in various ratios. It goes through a process where it's mixed into water, um, it's popped, and you form a sort of slurry, like a porridge of, of fibre. That's then pumped through to the paper machine. It's spread out over what's called a wire. It's a wire mesh that's, that's moving. The paper spreads out evenly over that, um, and then the, wa the water drains through, and you start to form your paper sheet. That gets, goes through a press, you squeeze out more water, then goes over drying cylinders, um, to take the, the last of the water out and then it's rolled up, cut into the right widths and it's ready for sale to, to people who are going to convert it into boxes or um, depending what the particular grade of paper is. The fibre that Impact produces is rolled up into sheets called container board which is then sold and used by clients to make corrugated boxes such as cereal boxes. Hunt shares more about Impact's market with this material. We make two different types of recycled products. The first is uh, what's called container board and that's the paper that's used to make corrugated boxes. So you have two types of paper in a corrugated box. The paper on each, of each side of it is called the liner and then you've got the squiggly bit in the middle that's called the, the fluting or the corrugated medium. So we make a lot of that. We have two mills that make that product, um, one in, in Petrotif and one in Felixton. In this mill we make product for making standalone boxes like a cereal box. And there's a whole variety of different papers. Some have a grey back. And if you look at the back inside of your cereal box, you'll see it's grey on the inside. That's a grey board and it's got a white coating on the front side for the printing, etc. And so that's, that's the second biggest product that we make with recycled fibre. Impact recycles PET plastic bottles and produces mill crates and wheelie bins from high density polyethylene. Although Impact is more focused on paper, Hunt tells us more about Impact's plastic recycling and challenges thereof. We do this on a small scale for high density polyethylene, so we make more crates. We also make wheelie bins and we have a big project with the, with the city of Cape Town where 50% of that wheelie bin is made from recycled polyethylene. And we keep looking for opportunities and there, there's some challenges around recycling of plastic. And the biggest one is um, getting enough material to justify the economic scale of the plant that you require. So if to, to invest in a factory you need a certain scale, um, to be able to get that scale you need the material to, to come in, so it's a little bit of a chicken and egg. But we have the infrastructure ready so it enables us to, to take those opportunities when they arise. So we're still in the process of bedding down our, our investment in, into PET and it's very different, we've had gone through a lot of learnings. Uh, the collecting of plastics is very different to collecting of paper and as we've developed we've sort of learnt those, those lessons and we're able to expand into different grades of plastic. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.